Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to create the lower third like this. Before starting, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Open Adobe After Effect and create a new composition, and name it Main Comp, and set the custom preset to 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels and 60 frames per second. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle shape like this. Take an angle point to the center of the shape. Align the shape to the center of the composition. Select the shape layer and expand it and select rectangle, select rectangle path. On size, unlink the value and set the width value to 900 and height value to 200. On transform rectangle 1, select skew and set 35 value to it. Close it and rename the shape layer to shape 1. Now let's duplicate the shape layer by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Select shape 2 and change the color to red. You can use any color you want. Select shape 2, go to content, and resize it to 200. Select Shape 2 again and press S on the keyboard to change the scale, and set the value to 120. Now let's import the social media logo. In this tutorial, I use the YouTube logo. You can find it in the link in the description below. Let's pick up the logo to a new composition, resize it to fit the composition, and rename it to Logo. Go to the main comp, truck the logo composition to the main comp and scale it to 30. Alright, now let's animate this logo. Click open the logo composition, go to 1 in 15 seconds and set a keyframe on it. Go back to the start point, set the value on the rotation to minus 100, and scale to 0. Select all keyframes and set Easy Ease to make it smooth animation. Select Shape 2 and Logo Layer, create a precompose on it, and name it to Logo Animation. Select Logo Animation and press P on the keyboard. Go to 1 in 30 seconds and set the width value to 1300. Go to 3.30 seconds, and set the value to 1400.
Put easy ease to it. It looks good to me. Let, let's animate on the shape layer, select shape 1 and go to transform rectangle 1, and go to 3 and 30 seconds and click unlink on scale. Move the angle point to the center right of the shape. Create a keyframe on it. Then go to 1 second, set width value to 10. To make it more interesting, let's stroke animation on the shape layer. Select shape 1, press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it, and rename it to stroke. Don't forget to delete the previous keyframe. Select Stroke Layer and add Trim Paths. Select Stroke Layer and click on the Isolate icon. Select Stroke Layer and select Rectangle Tool, and set Fill Color to None and Stroke to White Color, and its value to 2 pixels. Set the end value to 55 and offset to minus 5. And then go to 4 seconds and set the keyframe to it. Go back to 1 second and change the end value to 0. It looks good. Let's add easy ease to it. Remove the isolated layer, and move the stroke layer to the below shape layer. Let's adjust it more smoothly with animation.
Okay, it looks good to me. Next step, let's add text to it by selecting the text tool and typing any text you want. Alright, now let's animate the text. Select Shape 3 and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it, and rename it to Matte, and move it to above the text layer. On text, the layer changes matte to alpha matte. On matte layer, press S on the keyboard and adjust to fit the text layer. Add shadows effect to the logo layer. Now let's transform the effect to all layers. Create a new null object and named it to transform. Select the null layer and change the angle point position to the right fit to our object. Select all below layers and pin them to transform later. Then select transform later and press S for scale. Create a keyframe for it. Move to start point and set scale value to zero, and apply easy ease to it.
Now create a new composition and name it final and set the duration to 10 seconds. Track the main comp to the final comp composition and name it animation I and duplicated it and name it animation out. Then move the animation out to the right and right click on it then select time, and select the time reversed layer. Alright, now it is done with smooth animation. Now, let's export it with transparent background. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for getting new video tutorials.